Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to take a quick look at the text settings. So we're in design space, we're on the canvas. If we go to open a text box and we come up to font, you can see here that we've got a new layout. So this is the new layout for 7.13. 0.105 and if you don't have this yet you'll have it within the next week or so so this is rolling out you can see that we can toggle between our cricket fonts and our system fonts so system fonts are any fonts that you have installed onto your device or that were pre-installed onto your device and cricket fonts are obviously Cricut fonts and we've got this new bookmarks as well which I'm very excited about and here you can bookmark any of your favorite fonts so so far I've got a installed font and then I've got a Cricut font and to bookmark them all you're going to do is just click the bookmark next to the font that you want we can search for the font name Remember that if you're searching for a font, it needs to be toggled to either Cricut or System. So if you're toggled in Cricut and you're looking for a System font and it doesn't show up, then it could be because you are toggled to Cricut. The other reason a font may not show up in the search is because you've got Kern selected. So Kern fonts are where they are spaced correctly. Some fonts are available to be kerned, others are not. So again, if you're searching for a font and you know that it should be there, check first of all whether you're set to Cricut or System and then check whether your kerned fonts is on or off. We can choose language as well and we can filter our fonts to multi-layer, single layer, writing, stencil, free purchases or downloads. So for example, if I select stencil, I then get all of the Cricut stencil fonts that are available. Same as if I select writing, it will show me all of the fonts that I can have as a single line pen text, which is great for pen, foiling and debossing as well. And I can also toggle to multi-layer so I can select fonts that have got two or three layers. So the other great thing about the Cricut fonts is that you can download them so that they can be used if you're offline. Now when you're downloading them, you're not downloading them onto your computer, you're downloading them into the offline version of Design Space. So as you can see here, we've got a little download button if I just select one of these, it's now downloaded. I can see it's downloaded because I've got the little computer icon. If I turn my internet off, you can now see that I'm offline. If we open up our font box again, you can see all of my downloaded Cricut fonts that are available. And of course, my system fonts will be available as well. And there we go. Just a quick look at the text box settings. As always, I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.